Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's subject is mice and the thing that we all dread, them invading our caravans or motorhomes. I'm going to show you a few hints and tips on how to prevent mice and ants getting into your caravan. Some are common sense, some are perhaps old wives tales and some are tried and tested methods that will work and they won't break the bank neither. So let's take a look at this now. Now we all store our caravans in different locations, some at home, some in fields, some at farmers yards and also in rural storage lads like this. Now, no matter which storage yard you use, you still could possibly get a mouse into the caravan. And to prevent that, the best thing you can do, first of all, is make sure you keep the interior of your caravan clean. Remove all spills and messes when they occur and keep it uh, clean prior to storing. Now, with us, we store very little food in the caravan when it's in storage, but if we do, we use Tupperware containers, or it may be a canned product as well because if it's got a packet they'll get in it no problems and it'll keep them happy and entertained and breeding for a long time and that you don't need also if you store for long periods of time i highly recommend you come down at least once a week check on your caravan and make sure nothing's been disturbed because at that point you may be able to catch it early and uh, kick them out before they cause major damage to your caravan now there are plenty of products on the market that you can buy and some are all wives tales in my opinion. Some people recommend peppermint on cotton wool balls. Well some people it may work for them but others have found that they actually take the cotton wool balls and use it as part of their nest which is not something you want to do. Uh, there's also moth balls, there are also loo blocks which I think I don't I wouldn't recommend that one. Moth balls maybe. And I'm going to show you where you could put moth balls in your caravan that may help uh, prevent them getting in. Now there are some professional products on the market as well and some are quite reasonably priced. You can buy silicon that contains metal and you can seal up all your gaps and holes with that. They'll have a nibble on that and they'll not like it because it's got metal content and they'll spit it out and they'll go somewhere else. So that's one product you can use. Now another one I've heard of is wire wool. Now wire wool is a great product, uh, even if it's stainless steel, fantastic, but it still will rust. So you want to substitute the wire wool for copper wool instead, like this here. Another thing you could invest in is some aluminium uh, vent uh, plating. It's uh, perforated, it'll allow the air to circulate for your caravan, but it's not, the holes aren't big enough to get a mouse inside. Now also we uh, can still get ant invasions no matter what we do because they can get in a lot smaller holes. So I'm going to show you a couple of products that I've been using because I got invaded when I was in Holland last year and this did work. So let's go inside the caravan now and I'll show you the products that I've got to keep ants out and then we'll move on to the rest of the video with the uh, products for mouse proofing your caravan. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, we've also got possible uh, invasions by ants and these are a little bit harder to actually prevent. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple of products that I use. Uh, this one in particular, the ant traps. We had an invasion last year in Holland and uh, luckily I put a couple of these out in strategic places and within a couple of hours they'd gone and we had an ant free holiday. To the mix this year I'm going to add some ant powder and I'm going to show you where you're going to put that in a moment. Now the most vulnerable part on a caravan in terms of ants is the fridge vents. So what I would recommend you do is remove the fridge vent once you've pitched up and take one of the traps and place it behind the fridge on the floor area making sure you don't get anywhere near the wires and also uh, the heating element because you don't want it to melt neither and this should be your first line of defence. On top of that, there's the steadies. What I would recommend, take the amp powder, a ring of amp powder, round all your steadies and any other things that are actually attached to the caravan, such as uh, the um, water hose and also your electric hookup. But be careful with the water hose because you don't want to contaminate your water with this amp powder. A couple of other vulnerable places are around the wheels and if you've got an awning, and a draft skirt then I would put some at the base of the draft skirt before you put the awning up that way uh, when the carpet goes down it's not going to be messy on your carpet and hopefully that will prevent them climbing up the skirt as well and into the caravan. Now 
Now, I can't speak for all manufacturers, but I can speak for Swift, because this is my 2018 Swift, and it has actually got most preventative measures already fitted to the vent areas underneath the floor to allow uh, the air to circulate, which I'd like to give them a big thumbs up. Like I say, I can't speak for the manufacturers, but this is a 2018, so onwards, it should have some of the measures already uh, put into place at factory uh, fit. But there still are little areas where we need to uh, take a look at. So I'm gonna show them, and also I'll show you these vents now. Take a look at this. So we're just moving on a few weeks, unfortunately, because what happened was I'd ordered some uh, parts for this video and they didn't arrive on time. But uh, what I did get was this. I bought a pest pack, which is actually for domestic use, but it can be adapted for the caravan. And I'll show you more on that later. I ordered two A4 sheet of aluminium gauze, which I plan on to cut up and make into shapes. I'll show you that later. And also, I had some aluminium lying around in the garage, so I've uh, put some plate in and um, cut that up as well. Now, there's quite a few vulnerable spots in the caravan, uh, what we can take a look at, and we are going to do in this video, we'll cover them. Now, one in particular is actually where the air vents are in the floor. Now, some air vents are just slatted and some are actually square shaped holes, but nonetheless, you'll be surprised some of these actually mice can actually get through. So with mine, as I showed you before, we've got these vent boxes underneath, which uh, Swift have put on. So I went to my local deal and I thought, well, I wonder if you can buy these as an aftermarket thing. And you can. In fact, uh, if you've got a Swift dealer, especially, and you contact them, you can actually buy the vent for 96 pence plus VAT and £2.24 for the mesh gauze uh, section. So all in all, you're probably looking at a fiver, but um, the carriage on it's a tenner, so I'd order more than one to make it worthwhile if you're gonna do it. But uh, I thought that was pretty reasonable, five quid ahead. So I'm going to take you around the caravan now and show you some of the potential vulnerable spots that you may have in your caravan. Now if you have an older caravan, you might have a few more than I'm going to show on this. Or you might have less, it depends on how it was made and which manufacturer it is. Anyway, let's get on with it. So one of the first things I want to take a look at are these floor vents that you get in your caravan. They're, they're here to allow the air to circulate and uh, prevent moisture. Now the thing with these is as we can see there, there's a lot of small holes in that. And you'd think, well, a mouse wouldn't get through that. And the answer is it probably wouldn't, but it can chew through it because it's only made of plastic. So I've got an idea to combat that if you don't have these plates underneath or you don't want to lay out five quid for them. So let's have a look at that now. Now, having taken one of my aluminium sheets that I showed you earlier, I took a look at the vents. I bought one, especially for this demonstration. Now, this is identical to the one that's in the floor I've just uh, pointed out. What we're going to do is turn it over, and as you can see, there's a recessed area there. So I've drawn a circle with uh, the actual dimensions, and I've cut it out of one of the gauzes, and I'm going to fit it in there like that. So we push that in. Now, that's quite a tight fit, but what I would probably recommend you do is actually put a blob of silicon around it as well, just to seal it in, or glue even, and it'll hold it in, stop it falling out. And this is probably the cheapest way you could do in order to actually prevent mice from getting in. Okay, so one of the vul most vulnerable places really is where the sink drains uh, enter the uh, floor and go out to the outside underneath. Now, if I just lift this out, as you can see there, it's quite um, a, a, a large hole for such a small pipe. So they will squeeze the, themselves in between that. And that's one place where they can come up and get into the caravan. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go outside and show you from the outside and a few ideas I've got for this. Because this and the one in the kitchen is probably the most vulnerable areas. So let's do that now. Okay, so I'm now underneath the van at the back and you can see the hole and it's quite a large gap there. So they can slide themselves in there. So here's a few ideas I've got in order to prevent them getting in. My second idea, and it's a piece of aluminium plate. I've drilled a hole in the center of it, but it's a little bit too uh, small, the hole. 
but uh, I think it should have been 27 mil instead of 25. But I think you get the idea. You fit that over, it reduces the hole size and you can screw it in on all four corners, which is great because it can be a maintenance plate should you wish to remove this pipe. Because if you use silicon, it's gonna be very difficult in order to replace the pipe for maintenance should you wish to do so. So as you can see there, I've now screwed it in and I'm happy with that, it's nice and secure. And we're not gonna get any mice uh, trying to get in there anytime soon. Now I'm gonna repeat that on the uh, one for the kitchen sink. And then I'll show you another idea that I've got in relation to the pest pack. So here is the pest pack I bought. And I feel it's a great idea this for caravans as well as domestic use. Now in the pack, you get a pair of gloves to stop you cutting your hands on the copper, a pair of scissors and the actual copper gauze itself, which is great because it's not going to rust. Now it has got a double uh, doubled up method to it so it gives a tighter weave so it stops them actually trying to open it up and force them the way through it they don't like copper for some reason anyway but also it's fold you can fold it up and screw it up to fit in crevices which i think is a really good idea as well so if you're not happy with actually screwing uh, screws into the floor of your caravan on the underside then that's not a problem this is another alternative you can take some of the copper mesh from your pest pack cut a section off, roll it into a tube, and then force it inside the hole. Now, at the moment, it's still sticking up, as you can see there, but uh, in a moment, I'll push it down. I just wanted to show you like that, just so that you understood what I was talking about. So I've now forced that in, I've packed it in with a screwdriver, and it's nice and neat, and it's tidy. And hopefully, that's another way you can prevent them from getting inside the caravan. Now, if you want to try mothballs, personally, having opened them, I think they smell disgusting. But this is the pack that I got, and you get some mothballs themselves, are like pellet, tablet shaped, and these little bags which you can fit them in. Now, I would recommend fitting them under the false floors in the cupboards, and also uh, underneath the sink as well. So there are a couple more areas that you may want to check out and that is one the wheel arches if you have a look there they're sometimes not always fully sealed and they could potentially get in there. Now if you've had this happen to you before I'm sure you've explored that already but I would recommend either using the expandable foam that's pest resistant which is a little bit ugly or get the black silicon with the bits in of metal and seal it up that way. The other area is any electrical wiring that goes up through the floor into the caravan. Make sure the holes are not oversized and uh, you can fill them in. I would recommend actually using this stuff, this uh, pest control copper wire. As you saw uh, in the video earlier, fitting it into a hole and making it nice and neat, it, they can't push it out. I mean, I know we've done both sides of that particular one, but it's an option, isn't it? Now, what's worked for me? Well, like I just said, this pest control um, wire stuff, I think that's really good. Uh, the aluminium, not so good. It's not flexible enough. And to be honest, it was a pain to actually do. So we can discount that one. The next one is this aluminium gauze. I think this is really good. This is another Amazon purchase. It wasn't expensive. Two aluminium A4 sheets. Now, the method for this is cheaper than going buying the ones from Swift if you don't have them. Just make yourself a hole, or a circle should I say, like that, and insert it in, in here like so. Glue it in some way or another, maybe hot glue or something like that, and it's good to go. Screw it back in and you've got your protection there. So my top tips are the pest pack and aluminium gauze and for round the wheel arches I would recommend the uh, black sealant with metal in. Well I hope you, this doesn't put you into a panic and think that oh god we're going to get invaded. It, it may not happen but I know that a few people sadly have had this happen to them so that's why I've chose to make this video. Well thank you very much for watching I do hope you'll join us again real soon but in the meantime bye for now.